talk about how to do a voiceover in Final Cut Pro X. So what you're going to do is you're going to open this up and we're going to be using an external microphone. In this case, I'm using my old Snowball, which a lot of people have. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to go up to the top up here after you open it up. You're going to go to New Project. You're going to title it. Uh, we'll just use Snow. Sna, snow ball, snowball, uh, bit rate, resolution, doesn't really matter, 48, if you can bump that up if you want, I don't know, wherever you want that, I usually keep it at 48 stereo, you're going to hit OK. Now what you're going to do is we're going to close this little bugger out here, uh, you're going to go up to the top up here, you're going to go to, where's that little bugger, da, 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 da. there it is, record voiceover. So, this little box is going to pop up. You're going to already add your snowball, which if you go into your settings and system preferences, you're going to go into sound. If that didn't show up, and you're going to look at input right here, and you're going to put it to whatever your device is. Typically, it'll be something else. You don't want it to be internal microphone. And then you can adjust the volume right here uh, as the main volume. So once you've got that set, you want to make sure that when you go over and you uh, click on your window here and you go to your voice recorder, that you end up with your snowball here. Now, if I press monitor off, that means that I'm not going to hear it from the speakers. If I do it on... You're going to be able to hear me, and I sound like I'm in an echo chamber. So that's going to be kind of a bummer, but if you want to reference it, you can. Okay, so sorry about that. Uh, so anyway, you can count down to record the project, mute the project while recording, create audition from takes. Um, anyway, you can adjust the volume right here, and then you're going to hit the play button. So it's going to count down. I'm going to move me up, so bear with me here. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. This is your daily dose of John, which is probably enough for anybody. Anyway, so this is it. So you can go into this area right here. I'm going to click the stop button wherever it may be. Where is that little bugger? I'll hit pause. Okay, so there's my WAV file. So now I'll do another video on how you can edit this. It's actually pretty simple. In fact, I'll just do it right now. So highlight this right here. And you're going to go over and you're going to, let's get rid of this little bugger. Open up, open up right here your effects browser. Go to audio. You're going to scroll down until you find audio. Here's audio. Grab the channel EQ. Drag it over to the top. Drop it on here. And if you're doing voiceover, you're going to go up to, you're going to go up to the configuration right here where it says channel EQ. Go to channel EQ tools. I always like to use the bass improv uh, right here because it kind of gives you a, a deeper. Let's see if I can pull this. Up, so bear with me here. There it goes. Testing one, two, three. Testing now. one, two, three. This is your daily dose of John, which is probably enough for anybody. Anyway, so this is it. So you can go into this area right That's here. That's it. So you can adjust it right here, button, lower it. Be. Anyway, you get you get the idea. Okay, so that's it. If you have a suggestion, better idea, and you can go through. Actually, check this out. Sorry, I keep losing you. So you can go through up to this little graphic equalizer right here, which will pop up, and you can actually adjust all of the sound right here. So if I wanted to raise my, you know, raise my tones a little bit, uh, you know, my frequencies, I can just manually go through. Anyway, that's it. It's really pretty simple. I hope that helped. Anyway. If you like it, you know what to do. I always appreciate a subscriber. And um, if you got any tips or tricks to make this better, hey, we all want to hear about it and uh, leave me a comment. And, hey, question for you. Do you use Audacity or do you use uh, Audition? Do you use Final Cut for voiceover? I haven't seen a whole lot of people doing it. And do you have any great plugins that can be used for any of those platforms? Love to hear your comments. Appreciate it. Always, you guys have a great one. Thanks so much. Hey.